Good morning, guys. It is an epic morning to have a pile of logs sitting in front of the sawmill. It's about 28 degrees and sunny, but that's all about to change. The forecast starting tonight is for snow and or rain for the foreseeable future. So what I'm going to do today is kind of an ambitious uh, project, but I'm going to mill lumber to throw a sawmill shut up and try and get it up this weekend so that I can get my mill covered and be able to keep working on my shop, which is still going on. I know I haven't updated the shop project, but I'm still working on it, I'm still filming. And uh, I've actually secured two 40 foot shipping containers. I just need to get them delivered, but I'm still working on where they're gonna sit. I have a 32 inch log on the deck right now, Douglas fir. I'm gonna mill that into the lumber I need, pull the mill out of the way. I've got the excavator here. I'm gonna level out a pad. I'm gonna build a shed. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. Now the blade guide was hitting on this side of the log, but I had a bunch of room on the, the saw side, so I'm gonna try and shift this log over a little bit, probably six inches or so, so I can try and get down a little bit deeper. This log has a massive amount of bark on it. I'm gonna see if I can get some of this off so that I can get down level with my first cut.
Now I've got two monster awesome 8 inch by 22 inch by 16 foot long uh, cants on here. I'm going to set up the saw to make cuts at about an inch and three quarters and get this sucker sliced out. This is going to make pretty much all the two by eights I need, but I still have a bunch of flitches over on the loading arms uh, that will also get milled into two by eights just to make sure I got enough because I'm going to pull the mill out of the way uh, once I get started on the construction. Well, a bit of a bummer, I was just setting up my shot over here and I noticed all the way down, it kind of dips down through the center of the cant there. There's a bit of shake and uh, there's a pitch seam, it's cracked. Uh, this might be some fancy firewood here in the middle, but hopefully out of the top and bottom, I can get some full length and maybe some, some shorter boards that I need. We'll just have to see what we get when we get through it. Well, bringing the saw head back, I caught the blade on a little snag on the wood and popped the blade, which usually means the blade, usually means the teeth get into the lid, but it really doesn't look too bad. I think I might put this one back on and see if it cuts straight.
Well, it looks like I may have nicked a tooth when I jumped the blade, but uh, for what I'm building, that's not gonna be a big deal. Well, I got all the two by eights I needed and then some. I am going to pack up the sawmill, pull it out, and then uh, take the excavator here and level myself out a pad. I'm gonna do a little cleanup, uh, clean up an old burn pile. And I've got those oak logs that I picked up last summer, or it's actually February of last year, almost a year ago now, geez. Uh, gonna go pick those up, move them, and kind of just clear out a nice work zone. One thing I will never forget about my training at uh, Portland Woodmiser from James three and a half years ago now was uh, I don't care if you're moving at five miles or five feet, put it away 100%. And uh, that stuck with me and I've done it every time. Well, I've got a pretty nice spot cleared out here. I am going to get my rotating laser and uh, a rag tape and lay out the uh, footing locations for the sawmill shed. Okay, what am I doing here? Well, instead of trying to cut a 30 foot long beam, which is possible on my sawmill designed to cut 21 feet long, Bus Huxley actually did a really good video where he cut beams that were longer than the 21 feet that the mill will do without a bed extension. But what I'm going to do is take these two by eights and I'm going to laminate three two by eights together to make basically a six by eight. The middle section of the sandwich of the three boards is going to have breaks in it for the posts and for the knee braces. It'll sort of be like a mortise and tenon situation, except it's going to be laminated pieces and not uh not joinery carved out of a solid block of wood so i think this is the easiest way that i can do this by myself i'm going to continue to cut pieces get my layout done once i get the posts put on and this beam finished i'll i'll set it up with the tractor brace it off i've got a couple of holes dug i'll get it braced off and then i'll build the second one and stand it up Wow, that battery said it was full. It is not.
I must be getting tired. Nice job. That looks a little better. Well guys, it's getting dark and it's cooling off a bit. I'm pretty happy with where we're at today. Got the log milled, mill moved out, cleaned up. Got a really good start on the frame. It shouldn't take long tomorrow to get this thing finished off. I've got some concrete pads to set in the two footing holes I dug. And we'll get this leaned up and the next one started. I wanna say I'm really enjoying this Force chainsaw. I've been using this for about three months now and uh, I had zero issues. It just, it works awesome. It's so handy. Uh, I had a guy say, oh, I'll never use an electric chainsaw, but he also had never tried one. And uh, this, this is the way to go. I love not having to start it every single time you need to make a cut. I love it to be able to cut down the two buys before I haul them over to the chop saw. It's, uh, it's really awesome. So check out my link down below. Um, they've got all kinds of cordless tools. I've gotten a lot of great feedback from those of you who have bought it. I guarantee if you get one, you won't be disappointed. I love this thing. So that's it for tonight, guys. I appreciate you watching. To quote a book of my son's, good night, construction site. <laughs>